Uh, I'm the investment specialist at Zurich Investments, but today I'm really speaking on behalf of American Century as their representative, and I'll uh, specifically talk to their approach to responsible investing. Uh, American Century has been in partnership with uh, Zurich Investments for over 10 years now and, and is the manager of three Zurich Investment Funds. Uh, Zurich Investments Global Growth Share Fund was launched in September 2009 and then we launched a more concentrated version uh, nearly five years ago, October 2015, and we launched an SMA, the Global Growth Opportunities SMA, was launched last year. Now they're all run by the same team and with the same growth philosophy. They only really differ by the number of stocks held. Um, American Century itself is a US-based fund manager. It was founded in 1958 and it's got over 150 billion in assets and about 20 billion in global growth strategies. So Toby, I'll just take you to the next slide if I can, just in terms of approach to um, ESG. And this slide uh, mirrors what, uh, what Leah was saying earlier about the different approaches to ESG. And this thinks about that in terms of ESG integration versus portfolio diversification. And it's one way to think about how you can express values uh, within your portfolio. So for instance, negative screening, where clearly just segments of the market are removed as being undesirable to invest in, that uh, both lowers your ESG integration, you, you, don't, you, you remove the opportunity for engagement, but it also reduces your portfolio diversification opportunity. Um, American Century focuses their approach to ESG on the top right. And here the emphasis is on portfolio diversification and integration of both alpha and ESG related inputs. So it's an active approach that integrates ESG considerations into the financial analysis. And this is where the fund manager uses internal resources to assess ESG issues. And integration can use engagement to fill in the gaps between the quality and quantity of ESG disclosures. So what are the, some of the factors that, uh, or, or, or the pros and cons of this approach? Well, they don't rely on third party ESG uh, ratings. Uh, rather, American Century creates their own proprietary ESG scores and sector weightings. So they control the process. The focus is on financial materiality and they look to integrate that analysis of the potential risks and opportunities associated with ESG issues into their fundamental research program, uh, into their uh, research process. So we really believe that integrating ESG factors into the investment process allows American Century to make better long-term investment decisions. Thanks, Toby, I'll go to the next slide. Now, this integration of, of ESG into the research approach is not necessarily unique. However, one point of difference that we're particularly proud of is, our, is the ownership structure at uh, American Century, which we do believe is unique. Um, American Century was founded by Jim Stowers, who was a trained doctor originally, and subsequently a cancer survivor, along with his wife, Virginia. In the 1990s, they founded the Stowers Institute for Medical Research, and they subsequently bestowed their ownership stake in American Century to that institute. So the Stowers Institute for Medical Research today owns about 45% of the equity of uh, American Century. Well, so what? Well, through this ownership structure, American Century's dividend payments ensure the ongoing support of the medical research that the Stowers Institute is conducting. So the Stowers story is an important part of who American Century is. Um, let me say a little bit more on the Stowers Institute on the next slide, please, Toby. So just a brief word here. It's a non-profit biomedical research, um, R&D organization. It's got about 550 scientists, research associates, technician support staff, et cetera, across more than 20 independent research programs. And it really focuses on genetic-based diseases, including cancer, diabetes, dementia. So why is this ownership structure so important? Well, since 2000, 
Over $1.5 billion worth has been distributed to the Stowers Institute. And this gives the Institute sufficient financial strength so that the scientists can focus on research rather than fundraising. But it also means that investors into the global growth strategies are partners in this medical research. So we think that this is akin to impacting investing, but with a difference. And it provides a legacy outcome for retail um, investors. Um, that's all I was going to say. I'll hand it back to you, uh, or I'll hand it on to you, Mary. Uh, thank you very much, everyone.